What's up developers and problem solvers, Rod checking in, wanted to bring you guys another video. So you're looking for a development job, but you don't have any experience. I want to help you guys really kind of put yourself in a position to get that job, even if you don't have experience. So let's start here. Number one, the best way to get around no experience is business projects. Let me explain. Guys, if you don't have any experience, the last thing you need to go into an interview with no experience and no projects. Projects is your key to get a job with no experience. Even with the college degree, even after you graduate and you coming into a job, you have to have those business projects because this communicates to them you know what you're doing. You have solved problems in the past. Even if you don't have job experience, this goes a long way in positioning you so that you can get that job and start from small business projects and work your way up to larger and improving your technical skills along the way, guys. This is gonna be the key. And I'm gonna give you guys some insights on how to do this um, and really get that job you want and really get you started. So before we get started, guys, I have a link in the description box for my free seven step guide to really help you guys take your career to the next level and really get you that job you want and this guide also give you access to our free um, digilink community so links are in the description box if you guys already signed up for the seven step guide i have some premium courses down below go ahead and check them out and support the channel and we're going to really kind of help take things up a notch in your career and we have some good premium courses down for you so go ahead and check that out <clears throat> that being said guys let's talk about um no experience so guys i i didn't have a traditional way even if i went to mississippi state um, for business information system which is computer science and um business combined and it's business information systems in college they teach you how to learn code they give you some technical projects which is not business projects which is very different by the way but you know they give you the basics fundamentals life is good but you're going to quickly find out that jobs require you to really do business projects which is a little different or a lot of different from technical projects as far as just writing a calculator app doing certain uh, um, programming tasks on a lab <clears throat> is different than the business you got different elements of that business you have a test environment you got to make sure you don't interrupt services you can't just go putting in code willy-nilly into a production system there's processes and procedures so you can avoid bringing a company to its knees because you put in code that stop your database from communicating with your front-end application <laughs> so School don't teach you that kind of stuff, but business solving business projects does. So guys, you gotta keep that in mind. So I um, got out of school. I didn't get a software development job straight out of school. I worked in tech support, which is basically fixing PCs, um, call remote um, troubleshooting, and light, really light server work. But I wanted to get into software development. So. I ended up getting an opportunity when one of our uh, EDI developers left and they just wanted to have somebody there as a stopgap until they found another developer. So I stepped in, I had support, and my job was to keep the system running. Don't break anything, but I didn't have to build anything new. Those three months of my life, I decided I was going to learn development, EDI development, and I'm going to really maintain that system long term. And I did. In those three months, I've learned more about software development than probably the last five years of my career <laughs> as far as just uh, technical skills and um, I showcased my work as far as just um, working on smaller projects really small batch files and then work my way up long story short guys I got the job I didn't have any experience but I was able to communicate that hey I knew how to solve business problems and I had the ability to learn fast and really kind of put things in perspective or put, put things in a position so I could solve a problem keep the business going and communicate that to the team I talk about this in my seven step guide, but a lot of times you guys are strictly thinking write code, which yes, that's a part of the problem solving process, but you got to lead with the business needs in mind first, solving the business problems. And this is what you're gonna communicate 
in your interview so that you can get that job and help you stand out from all the other developers that you're up against the developers who have more experience than you maybe they know how to code but they don't know how to actually create projects that's going to allow you to impact the business to really kind of take things up a notch when it comes to workflow business processes and your main core management system guys that being said when you're in an interview and you don't have a lack of experience you need to be talking about some of the solve the problems you solved with technical tools and you may not have direct developer experience as far as just writing the code but you have provided developers with solutions to actually um, facilitate writing code perfect example um, a lot of you guys use Excel you use macros I'm pretty sure if you use Excel um, I don't know what they use nowadays but they used to use VB as the back-end um, programming language for um, Excel but a lot of people knew VB enough so that they can get an Excel and be dangerous. Guys, this is the foundation of programming. If you able to communicate that to a uh, hiring manager, they're gonna be willing to give you a shot as a junior developer. Because if you know how to fundamentally identify those problems or the business problem in, ex in, in the business, create an Excel macro or a mini program that can solve those problems and people use it and maintain and you was able to maintain it, that's the basics of a developer it's just you're exchanging that um, excel application for visual studio same exact uh process it's just a different application this is stuff you want to communicate this is the stuff that even if you don't have experience as a developer you can translate that to how you can solve these same problems as a junior developer for a company so you guys got to understand that Number two, you got to be able to speak the developer talk. Even if you come in, you have your problem solving ability. If you don't know how to speak the lingo as far as just um, if somebody tell you, hey, could you put this in the code repository? You don't know what a code repository is. You haven't been solving a lot of problems. You haven't been ex exposed to being a developer so that they feel comfortable with it. So uh, not necessarily a bad thing that you don't know, but you have to be able to pick up on it fast. You got to be able to kind of put all the major pieces together and learn over time and fill in the gaps of what you don't know knowledge wise via projects. A lot of times you think a lot of you guys come in and say, I need to learn everything about programming, which is not the best way to go. Learn, learn your fundamentals first, get you a couple of projects under your belt maybe the first project's free or something let's get a couple projects these projects will allow you to learn about variables arrays functions um all the different foundational pieces of program and then you're just going to learn a syntax as you learn or solve bigger and bigger projects and then you're going to fill in those gaps have more of an idea about the business the technology specifically that they need and then that's what's going to really put you in a position to be that high value right rockstar developer that they want and then you can use those project ex project solving projects to parlay that into a developer job guys so it's very important to do this last but not least you can do all this project work you can learn all this code but if you don't know how to showcase your <laughs> skill in your projects you will not get this job you're going to look at your resume you're going to see no skills you're going to have a mcdonald burger flipper flipper and then you're going to go down to the projects it's going to be nothing <laughs> which not the case guys you're not going to get a job with no experience that way maybe as an education you can put self-taught developer with certification down there and a lot of good stuff you're going to have a really wide projects this is where you want to showcase your experience is going to be kind of regular jobs at i don't know office building maybe not in technology department but you can be as a dispatcher or as local staff there but you assist doing uh, development level projects for the it department tell that story show your trajectory to that job and then how you're going to exceed that from there guys tell that story your resume should be communicating that that should be coming out of your mouth during that interview and then you're going to basically visualize that 
to that hiring manager to make it easier to hire you, to reduce the risk from that hiring manager to hire you guys. And this is gonna be the way that you get that job with no experience and then you're gonna send me a lot of money because you're gonna be the next Zuckerberg. <laughs> But guys, I just wanted to kind of uh, talk about coding um, with no experience and getting a job and kind of really putting yourself in a position to win. If you agree or you disagree, let's start a com uh, conversation below. Like, subscribe to the content. Go check out my seven step guide. Links are below guys. Let's go ahead and jump on that. Like, subscribe to the content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.